Fellow boys and girls, it's that time again where I talk about Chicago. I say I'm stunned and I'm appalled by the deaths and destruction across that city. And of course, you get people like this who say the city is safe, the mayor that is, blames guns, but not the criminals for violence. I've uttered this before, that this goes beyond guns even. This is a cultural issue in this town, in this city. And all the locales in Chicago. Most of the people that live in Chicago are indeed African American, Latinos, and other people of color. I guess that's the, the correct terminology that they're using these days. Whatever. So she says that uh, is calling on the federal government to help. Why didn't she ask for federal help during the Trump? Oh, that's white. That's right. Because Donald Trump was the incorrect skin color, or I should say the incorrect political ideology to help combat a rise in gun violence in the Windy City. I mentioned this before. To combat such violence in the Windy City, you're going to need to bring in the National Frickin' Guard. This is beyond any federal government help that they can provide. I don't even know what you, what, what can you provide at this point? I'm at a loss. Take the guns away, restrict gun rights. We've already done that, it doesn't work. Lightfoot added that the gun violence is an issue that is plaguing the cities across the country. Only cities that are run by goddamn motherfucking Democrats. 100% across the board. She does insist that Chicago is a safe city. Well, maybe downtown during daytime, but at nighttime, you're on your own there, pal. Her comments came on the same day as two mass shootings. So just last weekend, the weekend of, I think, was it the uh, 19th, 2021st, Chicago shootings, 54 shot, seven fatally in weekend violence across the city. Here it is Wednesday, and they updated the actual article here. Um, it was at 51, now it's 54 shot. Well, thankfully, I guess a woman was also fatally stabbed on Wacker Drive in the Loop. I don't know why you live in these big cities. I get it that maybe you don't have the financial means to move out. But as we go on, you're going to see a pattern of where these people are shot. And I've talked about it before in my videos about Chicago. And the most recent fatal attack, a man was shot dead while driving in Humboldt Park early Sunday. A 21-year-old was driving a Jeep about 1.40 a.m. in the 3100 block of West Augusta Boulevard when a car pulled up to him and someone fired shots, police said. Again, maybe perhaps a curfew might even help, but again, that goes against some sort of my small L libertarian sort of ideals where why should the government tell you when you can and can't travel? Because, because it's night, why can't I travel? Well, I would say you should self-impose a a curfew because every time it's what it seems that it's in the middle of the night the people are out there driving and they get blasted because of reasons the man was shot in the head police said a passenger in the jeep drove him to stroger hospital where he was pronounced dead less than an hour earlier a woman was fatally shot in bucktown on the northwest side she was riding a vehicle about 1 a.m pattern in the 2100 block of North Oakley Avenue when another vehicle drove up alongside and someone inside opened fire striking the woman, police said. The 32-year-old was dropped off at St. Mary's and Elizabeth Medical Center where she was pronounced dead. Humboldt Park! There you again. Don't travel to Humboldt Park. Saw another fatal shooting Saturday night. About 9.15 p.m., Giovanni Azuaga, Azuaga? Yeah. was shot to death and his girlfriend, the mother of their two children, was critically wounded during the Puerto Rican Day Parade in Humboldt Park Saturday night. And if you do have a chance to see that video, I suggest doing it. But if you're weak of heart and stomach, don't do it. Arswaga, who had just turned 24 and the women, 25, were ambushed by up to three people around 9.15 p.m. in the 3200 block of West Division Street, according to the Chicago police. And again, no one's going to mention, okay, no one's going to mention, especially in the news media, what the racial background of the assailants were. Now, they mentioned the racial background of the <laughs> victims, but not the assailants. I think you know why, and I think you could deduce what their racial background is. 
because I guarantee goddamn tea it if they were white people, it just wouldn't happen. But if they were white people, the news media would call them out white on Puerto Rican violence. That's what they would do. This is their narrative. Uh, Arsuaga was taken to the Saints Mary and Elizabeth Medical Center where he's pronounced dead, police said. One was hit in the neck and taken to Stroger Hospital in critical condition. A police spokesman said there was a crash before the shooting and a crowd had surrounded the couple's car. Video circulated on social media appears to show the couple being dragged from the car and shot as they lay in the street. My friends, these are fucking savages. They are out of their fucking mind. Police said the incident started with a minor car accident. And the group of people swarmed a specific car and they're seen hitting and beating the woman and eventually dragging her. One Humboldt Park resident who asked not to be identified, she said she was fearful for her family living in the city. I'm scared. I'm getting out of Chicago. It's a wrap. I'm leaving. That is probably one of the smartest things you have said, ma'am. Superintendent David Brown said the number of shootings and homicides this weekend were down from last year's Father's Day weekend. And also that while the nation is experiencing a crime wave, violence in Chicago is going down. No, no, it's not, Mr. Brown. No, it's not. 50 f so if a number of people, let's say 65, were shot every weekend and it goes down to 54, yeah, I guess you could say it dropped. But not really. The still fact remains is that you got a bunch of goddamn savages in your fucking city going around blasting each other. Just the normally people in that city, yes, folks, there are normal people in Chicago. Just normal people just want to live their life, but they're being attacked by these goddamn savages roaming that fucking city at night. What do you think they, what do you think they can do? They can't do anything because they're not allowed to have guns to protect themselves. And the people that aren't supposed to have guns have the guns. Imagine my shock. Color me shot. There is a decline in both homicides and shooting in the city. No, there's not. Which is particularly unusual if you look at other major cities in the country seeing continuing or continued peaking of violence. Friday night, a woman was killed and two others injured, including a 15-year-old boy, in a shooting in the back of the yards. The group was standing out in the sidewalk at 7.30 p.m. Apparently, you just can't stand on your stoop, hang out, on the 5400 block of South Bishop Street when a male was shot them from an unknown distance, Chicago police said. The woman, 28, was shot in the head and taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center where she was pronounced probably dead, police said. The teen was struck in the leg and taken to the same hospital in good condition. The man suffered, 31, a gunshot wound to the shoulder and was treated and released on the scene. Friday, Friday night, a 31-year-old man was killed in a drive-by shooting in Parkway Gardens on the south side. Eve Point, South Side is not a place to be hanging out. At about 5.20 p.m., the man was on the sidewalk near 64th Street and King Drive when a light-colored vehicle pulled up and someone inside began firing shots at him. He suffered a gunshot wound to the head and was transported to the University of Chicago Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. In non-fatal shootings, three men were shot Friday in the East Side neighborhood. The shooting happened in the 10,000 block of South Indianapolis Avenue just after 8 p.m., according to police. The men were traveling eastbound on Indianapolis when they were heard several shots. An 18-year-old man was shot in the buttocks, and another man, 21, shot, suffered a gunshot wound to the right arm. Both of them were transported to Christ Medical Center in Oaklawn, where their conditions were stabilized. A third man, 22, was struck in the leg and taken to University of Chicago Medical Center, where the condition was also stabilized. Last weekend, three people were killed and 43 others wounded in incidents of gun violence across Chicago. So when Brown says, Mr. Brown here, that... Gun violence dropped. No, it went up this weekend or last weekend, but the two weekends ago, it was down. So I don't get your your methodology here. The fact remains here is that Chicago is a goddamn cesspool. It's been run by goddamn filthy motherfucking Democrats for decades. Probably half a century by now. More than half a century. Why do these people keep voting filthy goddamn motherfucking Democrats constantly and consistently like fucking clockwork every two, four, and six years in this country? Why? It hasn't boosted their life. It hasn't fixed anything. So what do you have to motherfucking lose? Stop voting goddamn Democrats is one. And two, this is a cultural issue. Believe it. This is a cultural issue. 
There is no sanctity of your life there. There is no, hey, you know what? We kind of like life. Let's not kill each other. No, 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 no. The gangs there, mostly, by the way, are not white gangs. There are African-American gangs, Puerto Rican gangs, Mexican gangs, Latino gangs and all, if you want to wrap it all in a nice bow, that are doing this bullshit. You get into a minor traffic accident and then you get pulled out and shot to death by the goddamn fucking people in that goddamn forsaken fucking town. Not everybody, but some people apparently. But do you see those three people that shot that those poor Puerto Ricans to death? Do you see them on being, you know, frog walked into the station house to be arrested and charged? No. Why? Because people are keeping their mouth shut. And there's the other problem. Not snitching. I get it. I understand the cultural negative negative stereotype of snitching, but you gotta do something. You got a city that is on fucking fire, and what are you doing? What are you doing to stop it? We're gonna vote Democrat to keep this going. That's not making any sense because you're keeping it going. Stop voting Democrats is how you fix it. One, stop voting Democrat. Because what do you got to lose? Two, it's a cultural issue. You got to change the culture in that goddamn city. If you don't change the culture in that city, then why do number one? Just keep voting Democrats. And three, send the National Guard in there. Again, this goes against my small L libertarian principles, sending the federal government in there to fix shit. But you got to do something now. We're beyond the point where, well, let's let's do a let's do a governmental study, a blue ribbon. Uh, commission to study what's going on in Chicago. I know what's going on in Chicago. People are fucking shooting each other. It's like an open air Nintendo game. That is what's going on. And setting up committees to find out what you could do is useless. You got to send the National Guard in and stop this shit. Because there is no other way to stop this. There isn't. The ones I can see in my mind right now, there is nothing to stop this. Send the guard in. Stop voting Democrats. And change your goddamn cultural ideals in this goddamn city. Because whatever is is going on right now, it ain't fucking working.